art lovers from around the globe make their way to one of Philadelphia's most iconic buildings. The Philadelphia Museum of Art is one of the largest museums in the country, housing more than 227,000 objects. Hi, my name is Katie Friedman, and I'm a museum educator at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. We have everything that you could imagine an art museum would have. So we have art and paintings and sculptures and all of those things, but then we also have furniture, and we have china, and we have antique brushes and everything in between. The building is truly an amazing sight. Inspired by Greek architecture, some call the museum the Parthenon on the Parkway because the museum sits at the end of, what else, the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. The building was built in 1928 and it was built to be really a temple to house the Philadelphia's art collection which was really growing. The building's pediment is adorned with depictions of Greek gods and goddesses. It was an expensive endeavor that took some planning. Well, it's actually really fascinating when it was built. They, you know, they wanted it to feel like a temple, but they didn't think they had the fundings to build the entire building at once. So you'll see that it's built like a C, but what they did is they built the two ends first, and then after that they said, we need extra money to put the middle together. One of the reasons the museum is so iconic is its steps, featured prominently in the movie Rocky. There are a lot of steps, and some people call them the Rocky steps because Rocky Balboa and his movies ran up the steps and went like this. For us, there, there are steps that, that people use as a journey to get to the museum and to sometimes run for fun. The museum is an immersive experience, having you walk through history exactly as it was. When this building was designed, it was thought of as a walk through time, something that where you could really see art objects the way they were shown when those art objects were made. You can walk through an Indian temple hall, you can walk through a Japanese tea house, you can walk through a scholar's study or a French medieval cloister. It's really extraordinary what, what you can experience just while, while you're walking through our galleries. At the landing on the great stair hall balcony is a piece that's a real fan favorite by the celebrated sculptor Augustus St. Gaudens. Diana, oh, she's one of my favorites. So she actually used to be a weather vane, and she was on top of Madison Square Garden in New York City. She um, can turn, although she doesn't turn here in our galleries. The Peel Staircase in the American Galleries um, is an amazing picture that Charles Wilson Peel painted of his two boys walking up the stairs, and it's meant to look like they're actually walking up the stairs, so the bottom step is a real stair to sort of trick your eye. One of my favorite pieces in the collection is the Van Gogh. So our Van Gogh sunflowers, it's like one of our superstars and people come to see, they often take a picture next to it. And the Van Gogh sunflowers, there's only five paintings that Van Gogh did of the sunflowers and they really sort of speak for themselves. They're just breathtakingly beautiful pictures. They're just beautiful texture, great color, and, and special to look at. A trip to the Philadelphia Museum of Art is not just a quiet contemplative stroll through white hallways, although I guess you could do that if you wanted. And if you're not into paintings and sculptures, you are not going to believe what you see in our decorative arts areas. We have plates that are just gorgeous works of art in themselves as china. We have furniture. We have crazy modern chairs where you think, how could a person possibly ever sit down in it? It's just a fun place to experience.